In this lesson, we're going to look at ratio strength and percent strength. So let's, let's look at some examples. What is the ratio strength? Of a 25 milliliter solution containing 6 grams of medication. So if we look at this, you'll notice that we have 6 grams of medication out of a total of 25 milliliters. And that can be reduced. So in essence, that is the ratio of strength. We could write it that way. We could write it as 6 grams to 25 milliliters. We could write it as 6 grams to 25 milliliters. So it's written, I would prefer to call it a rate, frankly, because the units are different, but our textbook prefers to call that a ratio strength. Now a percent strength is a little bit more useful. And what a percent strength rec uh, means is it tells us how much we'd have in a hundred milliliters of solution. So in essence if I have a, if I have a five percent strength, what does that mean? That would mean five grams in 100 milliliters. Remember, of course, percent means out of 100. Now we could reduce this, certainly if we wanted to. We could reduce this and we could say, well, that would be the same thing as one gram to 20 milliliters. That would be the reduced ratio strength that we're looking at here. Now we want to be able to go back and forth between these two things. For example, if I want to convert convert 8 grams to 40 milliliters to percent strength, you'll see that it is equivalent to doing a proportion because percent strength is out of 100 milliliters. So what I'll have here is I will have 8 grams is to 40 mils. How much would be in 100 mils. And the simplest way for us to go ahead and do a proportion again is multiply across where we can and then divide. So to do this, 8 grams times 100 milliliters divided by 40 milliliters. And I'm going to keep the units here just so you can see how those behave. 8 grams times 100 milliliters divided by 40 milliliters. And you're going to see that the milliliters would cancel and I'd be just left with grams and then, then doing 8 times 100 divided by 40 gives me 20 grams. So we can say indeed that 8 grams is to 40 mils as 20 grams is to 100 mils. So what is this as a percent strength? This would have 20 percent strength. Okay, the next question I'm going to ask is, what is the percent strength uh, of the ratio one to five hundred? So you want to go ahead and determine what that means. 1 to 500 means 1 gram in 500 milliliters. The question then becomes is how many grams in 100 milliliters? And we have our usual strategy that we did with proportions again. Multiply across where you can and then divide. Multiply across this way and then divide. So we get x equals 1 gram times 100 mils divided by 500 mils. So what's that going to give us? Of course it would be 0 0.2. X is 0 0.2. So this is a little bit more confusing. So what we're going to say is, is we're going to say 
one gram over 500 mils is 0 0.2 grams over 100 mils, again grams here. And what does that correspond to? That corresponds to 0.2 percent strength. for that problem. Now we can also go the other direction. For example, if I want to say convert 20% strength to ratio strength, well in essence what that means is it means 20 grams per 100 milliliter. Reducing that fraction, I can remind you of the fraction technique discussed earlier. 2 times 10, 2 times 5, 20 is 2 times 2 times 5. 100 is 2 times 5, 10, 2 times 5, 10 grams, mils. And you'll notice that uh, we have a lot of stuff that cancels. And all that would be left, well, let me show you the canceling. Two's cancel, five cancel, two's cancel. Upstairs, one times one times one, one gram, five milliliters. So we certainly could write the ratio strength that way, or we could say one gram to five milliliters, or we could say one gram to five milliliters. If, for example, we have 0 0.3, we want to convert convert 0.3 percent strength to ratio strength. Well, 0 0.3 percent means 0 0.3 grams per 100 milliliters. Now we need to reduce this fraction and uh, that's going to be difficult for us to do but the first thing we need to do is we need to multiply top and bottom by 10. 0.3 times 10 is 3 grams. 100 times 10 is 1,000 grams, excuse me, 1,000 milliliters. And then we ask ourselves, can we reduce that fraction? And we cannot. So we would say the reduced form there would be 3 grams to 1,000 milliliters or 3 grams to 1,000 milliliters. Let's take a look at 6 and 2 thirds percent strength and let's say our goal is to convert to ratio strength. Well, 6 and 2 thirds percent means 6 and 2 thirds grams in 100 milliliters. Now, what is 6 and 2 thirds grams in 100 milliliters? Well, 3 times 6 is 18 and 2 is 20. It's 20 thirds grams over 100 milliliters. We've got to make sense of this. But what that means is it means 20 thirds divided by 100. And then we know it, of course, is grams per milliliter divided by 100 over 1, so we can rewrite that as 20 over 3 times 1 over 100 grams per milliliter. Uh, and I hope that's relatively clear how to reduce that. There are 5 20s in 100, so in essence I can rewrite this as 20 over 3, 1 over 20 times 5. So I'm not going to go all the way to um, prime factors, but I'll get pretty close. So the 20s cancel, and I get 1 over 15 grams per milliliter, or if you like, 1 gram to 15 milliliters would be the ratio strength.